Have you ever witnessed a talent, paid a fortune for a service, or watched a highly paid sports person succeed and ask yourself, how hard can it be? Today we're going to find out how hard can it be to do jousting. That's right, jousting. We're here at Castle Hill Showground and the guys from Nova Hollandia are doing a demonstration. And I'm going to go ask them if I can give it a go. Let's go meet Justin and find out how hard can it be. So tell me, what got you into jousting? Uh, I always had a love of history and a love of horses and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to combine the two. Okay. So how long... How much experience in riding do you need to start doing jousting? I would recommend that you have at least three or four years under your belt of reasonably serious riding, you know, riding three, three or four times a week, something like that. Um, that would be uh, the good starting point. Anything else than that, you're just going to enter a whole new world of pain. Okay. And what do you, find, what do you think is the hardest thing to pick up when you're learning jousting? Uh, there's a couple of things. Like, um, First of all, you've, you've got very limited um, senses like hearing and vision so you can't see a great deal and you can't hear a great deal um, you've got to be able to control your mount and use a nine foot lance at the same time whilst being hit by someone else so yeah it's just a lot of um, hand-eye coordination I suppose and a lot of balance and that's and you know getting used to wearing the armor there's a lot of factors that individually aren't huge obstacles but you combine them and yeah, adds up. Okay. And how heavy is the armor? Well my full harness uh, when I'm wearing it is 32 kilos. My harness is based on a 14th century Cherbourg harness. Yes. Um, it's made out of mild steel. Um, the front plates on the breastplate are 2 mil thick and the back lames are 1.6. Um, medieval artisans would have used uh, spring steel which is much lighter but much harder but for a modern person it's very very expensive to get that sort of stuff manufactured so mild steel is a, a bit of a compromise but um, yeah but it's mainly mild steel beaten out by someone who's um, a pretty good armour hopefully. And how important is the armour when you're doing the jousting? Very important. Um, you know, you're, you're riding towards someone at a fairly handy canter, if not a gallop. You're probably moving at 30 k's, uh, so your impact speed is 60 k's. Um, and that's all focused between the end of a lance, which is about that big. So that's got a fair bit of punching power. Uh, if you haven't got the right harness on and the right armour, you can, you can feel it. I mean, if you get hit where your armour isn't, you know about it. Have you had some serious injuries doing this? No, not very many. I've had some, you know, some cartilage separated my ribs, I've buggered this thumb, um, but that's about it. I have heard of some horrific injuries that we won't go into, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it all comes down to practice and good, good armour. And how long have you been doing jousting for? Oh, about 11 years. Um, we started back in 95, a friend and I, uh, Rod Walker, and we both had a passion for medieval reenactment history. We were both riding and we met and we expressed an interest. Both of us said, oh, I wouldn't mind jousting and we just started. Let's have a lash at it. Okay, Justin, can we go give it a go? Be my guest. Well, I've got my armour on, I've got my lance. Andrew and Justin have taught me everything that I need to know. I'm going to go find out how hard can it be.
<laughs> um, let's go back to my house with me and my friend. Mate, you've got to get on the horse first. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, no worries. Okay. Well, there you have it. We've put this skill to the test, and believe me, it is that hard. I bet you're going to think differently the next time you witness this. Oh, and by the way, if you want Nova Hollandia to perform at your next function, give Annabelle at Talent Online a call on 1300 300 218 or visit their website www.talentonline.com.au or you could come back here to the Castle Hill Showground in the school holidays on the 30th of June and the 1st of July for the Sydney Winterfest where these guys will be battling it out again. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you for joining us. I'm Grant DeVal for How Hard Can It Be?